Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry in advance if it's hard to hear me and if the camera is shaking a lot because we are driving right now. Um, but I decided I'd do like a little vlog today about where we're going and what we're doing because I never really do any vlogs but I feel like it'd be good to have like filler content because a lot of the projects that I'm working on are taking more than a week so this is just something I can put out real quick and I just think it'll be a really cool experience and something other people might be interested in. So basically we are going today to Big Snow which is this indoor snowboarding and skiing place. It is in Meadowlands, New Jersey, right? Meadowlands? Meadowlands, <laughs> which isn't too far from where we live. And apparently it's the first indoor snowboarding skiing place of its kind in the US. It's not like a major mountain, it's kind of a short run, but they have one black trail, one blue trail, and a green trail with like a magic carpet for beginners. And they have like regular full-size ski lifts that bring you to the top. So I think it'll be really fun. It'll be nice, uh, like a nice icebreaker into the season. I've never been here before, Scott's never been here before, we're meeting up with a bunch of people and only one of them has been here before, so it's kind of going to be a new experience for us. This place only opened up a year ago, so it is pretty new, but basically, I don't know if this is because of COVID or how it always works, but we had to sign up for a time slot, so we have a two hour time slot at one o'clock, and it was $35 if you don't need any rental gear, and that's just for two hour lift access. And then I think it was around 70 if you wanted rental gear, and that includes skis and boots or snowboarding, boots bindings, and then they also come with a helmet, a coat and pants, I believe, but no goggles and no gloves. So they also have lessons available, which is pretty cool if you're someone that's never snowboarded or skied before. Maybe you wanna try it out on an indoor mountain versus the real thing. Um, none of us are gonna be doing the lessons, so I won't really be able to talk about how that goes, but. Um, it's an option. But yeah, basically this place is open all year round. It's not just open in the winter time. So you could literally go snowboarding or skiing in like June and July, um, which is pretty cool. I read online that they keep it 28 degrees inside so that way the snow like, doesn't melt. But I think without the wind of being on a mountain, it'll be a lot warmer for us. So we are bringing a GoPro. This is what I'm gonna be using to film. I also have like a little attachment for the front of the snowboard, so hopefully that works out. So because we have a two hour time slot, um, apparently the way it works is we're not getting rental gear, but some of our friends are getting rental gear. So they're gonna go in five minutes before the time that we're supposed to be there, which is one o'clock. So they'll go in five minutes early, start to get their rentals, and then when we're all ready to go in, we like scan something, and then apparently that's when the two hours start. So if they're not done getting gear until like 1.30, and we scan at like 1.35, will be done at 3.35. So that's it, that's all I have to really say. Um, the rest should just be GoPro footage, so enjoy. Turn green? I don't know. I think it did. There you go. Oh, magical. Okay. Do it again? No, you have to use it every time. Really? No, push and hold.
Hey guys, I just wanted to film a little outro for this video and talk about the whole experience. Overall, it was a really great time. I had a lot of fun. Um, it also felt really safe with everything that's going on right now. Everyone was required to wear a face covering of some sort and if you weren't wearing one or if your nose was sticking out of it, um, there were people that were working there that would basically tell you like, hey, put the mask over your nose or you have to leave. So in that aspect, it felt really safe. So when we first got there, we parked in parking lot A, which is the one for big snow and the parking is literally right underneath the snow ramp. So that was pretty cool. And we parked on level two, and I would recommend anyone that is bringing their own gear, definitely try to park on level two because basically if you park there, you can get out of your car and walk straight into the doors where you need to check in. Otherwise, you're gonna have to find your way through either like stairs or an escalator. Um, so that just was easy to go straight from the car to inside. So once we got into the building, we went up to this area where they scanned our tickets and then we got in a line. And I think we waited there for a few minutes until it was a little before one o'clock. And then they let us into the store area where they sell like helmets and goggles and all that kind of stuff. And then they moved us into a separate line and we were there for a few more minutes and they were just letting like a couple people at a time go to the desk to check in. So when it was our turn, we went up to this desk and they scanned our tickets a second time. And that is where they gave us like the little RFID bracelets that you need. So once we got our bracelets, we went through this tunnel area and then there was a bunch of lockers in this room and they were all free to use, which was really nice. The way it worked was you just used your little bracelet and scanned it against the locker and then it was like, connected somehow. So once everyone was situated with all their gear and getting the rentals together, that took about like 20 minutes. And then we used our little RFID bracelets again to scan to get into the area where you're actually snowboarding. And once you scan, that's when your two hours officially starts. So once we got in is when we started to explore everything. There was one main lift and then there was one lift that you kind of, well, it wasn't even a lift. You just kind of hold onto a rope and it drags you up the mountain. And then there was a magic carpet for the beginner area. So when we first got there, the line was really short. It was moving pretty quickly, but as time went on, more and more people started to show up. So by the time we were leaving, the line had almost doubled in size. So if you're gonna go, I'd say go a little earlier in the day. I think that that'll help you out. So I had mentioned that I thought that there was a black trail, a blue trail, and a green trail. There kinda is. Um, but if you compare it to a regular mountain, I'd say their blue trail is more like a green trail. And then their green trail was really just like a lightly sloped S-shaped hill. The black trail really was just like a terrain park with a bunch of things that you could fool around with. But honestly, it was a great time. Um, I'd definitely recommend this for anyone that's a beginner. I think it's a really good place to learn. Oh, I forgot to mention that parking was free, which was really, really convenient because I thought they were gonna charge us for parking too. But yeah, for $35, if you have all your gear, it's a pretty cheap, fun activity that you can do right now. Also, when we were there, I saw they had like some package going on where you can get six tickets for like $120, I think it was. Um, I think it ended up working out to be like $10 cheaper per ticket. So if anyone has a large group and wants to go together, I'd say do that option. And once our two hours were up, we went out, we grabbed our gear out of the lockers and put it in the car. And then we wanted to just like walk around the mall and see what everything else looked like. It was kind of disappointing because none of the retail stores were open. I don't know if that's because of the day and time that we were there, but there was like a couple food places open, but you could definitely tell that this mall is still under construction. They've only spilled like a small percentage of the shops. So that was kind of disappointing, but I think it's gonna look really cool when it's finally done. Anyways, thanks so much to anyone who decided to watch this video. Hopefully in the future, I'll be able to do more vlogs without feeling incredibly awkward. I swear I've tried to film like two other vlogs before this and I just quit because I felt uncomfortable holding the camera up in front of me and talking to it. If you wanna see more videos I put up in the future, go ahead and subscribe. And other than that, have a great day and I'll see you later, bye.